Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So I wanted to take a second and tell you what's on my smartphone in 2017. Some people have requested this video and I decided to go ahead and put it out. I have multiple smartphones, but I pretty much have the same applications on each one. And they're probably set up identical. That's just to make it easier on me. So uh, let me zoom a little bit here. And um, let me show you what's on my LG G6 here. Uh, this this layout right here, normally I have the Pixel Launcher on all of my phones. I do have it on several phones, but I have so many phones, I decided to grab the, the latest one that I'm using at the moment and um, show you how I have this set up. So I just have some folders here going across each one. And uh, from left to right here, I keep a battery icon there to, to track my battery. Just pull this bad boy off the charger. Then I've got my T-Mobile Sync Up Drive. If you don't know about the T-Mobile Sync Up Drive, stay tuned to my channel. I'll have a video up on that soon. Um, it's been out since last year, but it's, it's really solid. It's a sweet, sweet application, sweet device. It's really nice. And I got my Bible app, of course. And then uh, under that settings and then the square camera here is something that I have because this is unique to uh, the G6 it's square camera. And you can basically do a collage. Uh, so in this folder, obviously, in the center stage here is the social media uh, folder. Uh, you've got Periscope, my Spreaker. Shout out to all the people that follow me on Spreaker. I have probably almost 400 or over 400 people uh, follow. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have a, I didn't want to turn on data with this one. But uh, I have almost 400 people or 400 people uh, on Spreaker following me. So I appreciate the love for that, guys. Um, yeah, wow. Well, oh, just went up to 418. Okay, so um, yeah. But um, social media folder here, um, Spreaker and Periscope. I need to start using Periscope again. You guys want to see any more Periscopes? Periscopes are nice. It's just the quality isn't as good as a, a you know a certain some live stream or just doing a regular live stream. But it's fast and it's you know it's, it updates really. It uploads. You don't have to do any work. You just get on there and and go. Uh, this is an application, uh, Kind Master, that I've been using. It's a video editor, and I've got a video show pro up there. I definitely recommend you buy that. It is totally worth it. Uh, shout out to Anthony, uh, my project 13, for hooking me up with that one. Well, telling me about it, and I, I decided to go ahead and buy it. It'll be the best four dollars you spend if you don't have a computer and you want to edit uh, things on the go, do videos. And obviously, here the main things I use here is uh, Twitter and Instagram and Hangouts, Google Studio, YouTube, and WordPress, WordPress, and uh, you know, Sideline for the extra number, Google Voice for the extra number. Pretty basic there. And then I've got business in this folder right here. This is just like paying bills or shopping. And that's pretty much, I just labeled it business because I didn't really know another way to label it. Uh, but it's pretty much just shopping and uh, paying bills out of there. I do have a games folder, but I don't really play any of these games. The latest game I've downloaded is the new Transformer game. I might review that. I don't know yet if I'll review it, but we shall see. Uh, but a lot of these games I've purchased, I buy a lot of games, but I don't really play them too much. Um, NBA Jams, I actually played that a little bit, you know, but some of these games, I bought them. So games that I buy, I kind of try to keep them on the device just in case. And I've probably purchased uh, nearly all of these games here. That if, if it's a game that you can buy, I know I've purchased a lot of those. But that's pretty much it, man. On this page here, I've got uh, Avery uh, for editing photos if I need to. But I've got the gallery right next to that in touch for a church. There's essentials folder here. This was put up, put this way on the device when I got it. Uh, just speaking of the G6 here, this is the way it can. I just kind of left everything in there. I think I might have moved that LG Friends in there, and that's probably it. I need to link my, my 360 cam. Yes, I still have 360 cam. <laughs> I need to link that bad boy. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, I just kind of left this as is, and I use these things as I need to. Some things, some, one thing I, I think about this phone I didn't mention in the full review and that people just don't talk about it much is that it has an FM radio. So if you don't have data services, you can plug in your favorite head, set of headphones and you can actually listen to the radio right from the phone. So next, this was management, I believe, yeah. And the only thing I added in here was just this speed test application because I don't really um, have, need, I didn't need to change anything in here. This is obviously where you can, I like how LG has app trash. So if you delete, an application uh, it doesn't go away automatically just in case you change your mind but you go in here and it'll be here for 24 hours and you can delete it permanently if you want to so that's really that's a really cool application I wish more phones had that uh, just in case and you have the file manager and things like that so nothing major in there oh and smart cleanings in there too so if you want to do a do a smart cleaning 
you see how your phone is optimized and you can hit optimize boom and then it'll optimize the phone for you you get the idea do, 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 do. there you go and then here it's just a google folder you know i didn't i took things out of here and then i think i just put that messaging app in there because it wasn't originally on here so other than that, I mean, I use things in here. I use the drive, obviously. And I got Netflix in my smart controller for my 65-inch my 4K TV. That's pretty much it. On the bottom, phone, messages, camera, email, and um, my uh, browser there. Now, on this phone right here, I obviously have it pretty much set up the same. You can see games, business, social <laughs> settings, and uh, the Chrome browser. But on this one, I have the camera down here because I chose to have the app tray uh, with this one right here. I've just kind of been using the phones as they come and not so much um, changing the launcher. I do have Pixel Launcher on all of my phones, but sometimes I don't use it. So if I really like a device, uh, like I like this one and these two right here, I'll probably just leave them as is. And when my S8 comes in, I'll leave it as is with that one more than likely too. Uh, because I actually like the uh, Sense UI skin. This um, I'm not a fan of the way the app drawer is, but the performance of the Sense UI, I guess I'll say. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. So this is how I have both of my phones set up at the moment. Um, this is a Pixel thing, but there's another thing called Pixel, and it's kind of like the old school Pixel thing. Um, and it's in here. I think it's down at the bottom here somewhere. Where is that? I've got a lot of... Um, so I can see here. I've got a, I normally have it on the, uh, on the Pixel thing. And um, I really like the Pixel theme. I, I just recently took it off because I wanted to try something different here. Here it is right here. This is the theme that I've had it on probably the entire time I've been using this phone. Uh, and with the LG theme, I just kind of leave it with this one because some of the other themes on the LG phone, um, you know, I don't know, something about them. Uh, they, like I said in the uh, comparison I did, it is kind of dated. Uh, but this this phone right here has some really nice themes, and plus the screen on this one I still think is a little bit more vibrant and punchy. But nonetheless, this is how I have my phone set up. So same thing on this phone. You've got social media, and you've got a business folder, and you got the gaming folder, which I'll probably uninstall those games. And I don't have a second one on here because I have an apps tray. And that's it. So I just grabbed a couple of phones to show you. Who, oh, I forgot I have a music player up top on this one. I, I had a music player on this one. I don't know what what I did. I took it away. I don't remember how, why I removed it. But um, same thing over here. Sync up drive. My power indicator for battery. Because I keep one on both of those just to kind of check it. Bible application. And it pretty much looks the same though. Yeah, I'm probably a little boring. But, you know, I think simple is the best way to go. So they're here. I have a couple of my phones here because um, uh, I have a lot of Android phones. These are just two. You will see a follow-up with the Samsung Galaxy S8 uh, once I get it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.